back now in Halifax for the Olympic Sports Festival. Devaro Williamson and Lehman Brewster will battle for the gold. And I'm joined, as always, by Gil Clancy. And for the first time, by a figure well-known to all fans of television and film, Tony Danza, who happens to be an ex-fighter, as our guy Gil Clancy can tell you. Yes, he was, and he could punch like a son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, he could also catch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to have you here. We know that you're here because you're interested in one of the youngsters on the card tonight. But let's talk about these heavyweights as we get into round number one. Lehman Brewster is in the blue headgear with the red uniform. DeVarrell Williamson, who came down from a year ago as a super heavyweight when he won the silver medal at 201 plus but uh, decided that this is a better weight for him and he came in at 198 Brewster came in at 200 pounds both well below the 201 pound limit and Brewster starting off quickly forcing the action against DeVarrell Williamson who was uh, in the 1995 Pan American Trials lost in the semifinals and was third in the US Championships and that event earlier this year was won by Lehman Brewster he is the current US champion you know, the, the, I was talking to Bruce from uh, USA Boxing. He wasn't sure if DeVaro could withstand the pressure that Lehman's going to... Lehman? Lehman. Lehman is going to put on. Lehman, I'm in him French. Have you seen uh, Bruce fight before? Yes, I have seen him before. He's tough. I haven't seen the other guy. I guess he was a great athlete. Excellent athlete. Studying for his master's degree. Yes, at Northern Michigan University as part of the Olympic educational program. And he was a good high school quarterback and a good uh, college quarterback. He went to the... Colts camp uh, didn't make it there trying out as a free agent but yes he's a fine athlete uh, Tim the one thing that he has going for him is with the amateur rules it's scoring points unless you get nailed on the chin and he's the taller of the two keeps busy with the left jab and Brewster despite the fact that he's a big puncher has a tendency to, to pose an awful lot during a fight did, uh, did Tony Danza pose a lot during his fights no no he was an all action <laughs> fighter Tim I'm telling you I love that you've seen, you've seen me. That's what's great. <laughs> what was your uh, record as a pro, Tony? Well, there's a couple of different uh, <laughs> A couple of versions? Versions. No, <laughs> you had a, tell them your record. You had a good record. Don't be ashamed of it. No, I was 10 and 3. All right. That's great. Well, only 13 fights and you decided to pack it in. What was the cause of that? I got a job. <laughs> a real job, huh? <laughs> you know, I was 1 and 2. You know, I started out 1 and 2, Gil, remember? Yep. You know, you know, you've heard of guys 35 and 0. Oh, I was 1 and 2. <laughs> My well, mother was telling me, get a job, please. Yeah, I think your mom must be pleased with uh, not only the fact that you got a different job, but how well it turned out. I think she's very happy. <laughs> I know you lost your mom uh, just in the, in the past year, and uh, we feel badly for you. She was a great fan of, of, of your boxing career, obviously. She let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> I think once I got knocked out, the last thing I heard before I hit the canvas was her scream, and that was the last fight she ever came and saw. There's a good left hook landed by Brewster, finally able to get himself in position to put some power on a punch to the head of DeVarrell Williamson. The jab's giving him a hard time getting past DeVarrell's jab. He's awkward. Brewster trying to get close enough, a little more range finding here. Good round for Williamson here on the first. We want to thank Tony Danzer for joining us oh, here. It's my pleasure. <laughs> I've been so nervous. <laughs> Two for the heavyweight gold in the black with red trim uh, on the headgear is DeVarrell Williamson and the blue headgear red uniform is Lehman Brewster. The judges saw it for Brewster six points to one in the first round. We scored that round for Williamson. So a little discrepancy uh, between us here, but as we pointed out throughout the festival at the end of three rounds, the judges and Gil Clancy and I have actually seen every fight with the same result. Let's see what happens in this one. For the heavyweight championship of the Olympic Festival, Lehman Brewster, decision Nate Jones in his semifinal. Williamson eliminated Raynon Woods. And Tim Brewster has worked a lot with Bill Slayton, who trained uh, Kenny Norton, and he's picked up a lot of the same style that Norton has, where he throws that right hand across his chest and... The only punch you can really hit him solid with is a good left hook, and uh, it doesn't look to me as if uh, the opponent has that good left hook. Brewster with the decision and the only other meeting between these two. That came in the 95 U.S. Championships earlier this year, back in April. If you saw the semifinal, you heard us tell you that Brewster's married to Sheena Arnold Brewster, an actress who plays on a sitcom on television called Martin. Brewster trying to work his way inside those long arms of Williamson. Williamson with a right hand over. But now the jab of Brewster finding its range. He was starting to work well within the last minute. 
of the first round. Williamson caught, caught him coming in with an uppercut. Gusta is scoring points with that left jab. Another right. Williamson got a good uppercut in and it backed up Brewster. You can see that Williamson's an athlete. He's a competitor. He's, he's trying all the time. Good exchange. Brewster left and a right. And then sticks out that jab again. Williamson is wide open for the jab of Brewster, but now he muscles him back. The referee is Spence Carpenter from Flint, Michigan. Brewster got that left inside. And Brewster with a right hand and a left behind it. He's picking up his tempo and finding the range. Remember, uh, they scored the first round 6-1 to one for Brewster. Williamson landed the right, but it was at the full extension of his arm. Didn't hurt Brewster. Easy for you to say. <laughs> Under 30 seconds to go round two. Heavyweight gold at stake here in the Olympic Sports Festival. Brewster lands another combination and another. Definitely has found his range against Devaro Williamson. A good round for Lehman Brewster.